when chapter 18, accounts of clubs and societies. We talk about accounts and accounts of clubs and societies. We're talking about non-trading organizations. So they, they have services, they provide services just for their members. So that's what they do. They are not selling goods or services. They're not selling goods. Rather, they provide services for those who subscribe, who subscribe with them. So that is what they do. So here. He said, non trading organizations, such as, okay, examples of non trading organizations are sports clubs, golf clubs, scout groups, dramatic groups, youth club. Those are those are different types of non trading organizations we have. And their main source of income is subscriptions. That means members, if you have to, you have to be a member to be able to enjoy the facility. That is what it means. Then, how do they prepare their accounts? They don't use trading profit loss accounts, rather, they use receipt and payments accounts when they are making their transactions. So now go to preparation of the receipt and payment account. They said the receipt and payment account is regarded as a summary of the cash book for the financial year. So all money received is debited and all money paid is credited. So for the non-trading organizations, for clubs, they don't have trading profit loss account, like I said earlier. So they use they use the sum the summary of their cash book is just an receipt and payment account. So all the money that they, all the income that comes to the business, all the income that comes to the club goes to the debit side of the receipt and payment account. Uh, all the expenditures of the club goes to the credit side of the receipt and payment account. So the debit side represents what the business, what the organization, what the club has. The credit side represents an overdraft when the statement is ready. The, the credit side represents an overdraft that they are owing the bank. So you have to take note of the, some requirements when we, when we are opening the receipt and payment account. We don't make adjustments when it comes to accruals or repayments. We don't make adjustments when it comes to capital expenditure. There's nothing like capital expenditure or revenue expenditure. There's nothing like receipt, uh, capital receipt or revenue receipt. We don't discuss depreciation. So the first question we have, it said, Apollo Athletic Club was formed some years ago. Uh, the club had 2,200 in the bank. So that is a debit balance, 2,200. Mm -hmm. Then it said, we have the following items, subscription received. Which is subscription, that's an income for the club. It stays on the debit side. Receipt from shop sales, it stays on the credit side, on the debit side. Purchases of goods for resale, it's purchases, it stays on the credit side. Wages and expenses, it stays on the credit side. Rates and insurances and expenses, it stays on the credit side. General expenses is an expenses on the, on the credit side. Purchases of new sport equipment, also an expenses. Athletic competition, entrance fees, received, it stays on the debit side. Then you have the cost. Of prices, that is also an expenses for the business. They said all receipts are paid into the bank, and all payments are made by check. So it's all transactions from the bank. So what we have is on the debit side of the receipt and payments account, we're going to have the balance brought down, which is from the the bank account. We're going to have subscription receipt. We're going to have the fee paid by the competitors and the entrance fees. So the difference between both of both the receipt aside, uh, the receipt side and payment side becomes our balance carried down, which is the balance brought down for the next month. I think that is clear. Yes. So we go to preparation of an income statement of a club or society. Although buying and selling is not the main purpose of a club or society, many do carry out a trading activity. Many clubs operate a shop or a cafe where goods are bought and sold. At the end of the financial year, an income statement trading section only should be prepared for each separate trading activity should, to show the profit earned on the activity. So sometimes the clubs, the clubs, sometimes they have cafe that they sell, they sell things. So that because they sell, they need to open an income statement. So because we, because in that club they have spots to sell, so that means they have to prepare trading accounts too. That's the point there. So they said the trading session of an income statement of a club or society is prepared in exactly the same way as that of a, for a business. Any expenses which arises as a result of running the trading activities, such as wages of, of cafe assistance, the session of ca cafe equipment, and so on, should be added to the cost of the goods sold in order to calculate the correct profit. So whatever uh, whatever expenses we make, because we only have the trading section, so whatever expenses should be part of the cost of goods sold. I think that is clear. So when well, we have a question, we'll be able to understand better. The Apollo Athletics Club was formed some years ago. 
to provide various sporting facilities for its members. The club also has a shop where members can purchase sportswear. The treasurer provided the following information for the year and day 31st, July 28th. Receipt from shop sales, purchases of goods for resale, shop inventory, shop inventory, that's opening and closing inventory, wages of shop assistance. The sell, we are told to prepare a shop income statement of the Apollo Athletics Club for the year and day 31st. The revenue of the club is the receipt from suppliers, from shop sales, which is 3,960. I think that is clear. Then we have to less cost of sales. What are the, what our cost of sales? We have purchases, yeah, we true. have open inventory, then we let's close the inventory. Are you with me? Yes. So that gives us our cost of goods sold. So you less it from the revenue. As soon as you do that, then we have expenses. We have uh, wages, yeah, we have wages, which is an expenses. You have to add it to your cost of goods sold. Then that gives you your profit. I think it's clear. <clears throat> Is it clear, please? Yes. Preparation of an income and expenditure account. Are you there? Yes. So an income and expenditure account compares the gains of the club with the expenses of running the club. If the gains are more than the expenses, the difference is referred to as surplus or excess of income over expenditure. This is known as the profit for the year in the business. If the gains are less than that, the deficit or excess over, of expenditure over income, that is deficit. So an income and expenditure account is prepared using the same principles as those applied in the preparation of an income statement of a trading business. It is important to remember that one, adjustments must be made for accruals here. So when you are preparing your income and expenditure account, you now, you now have to make adjustments. When you are preparing your receipt and payment account, okay. there's no adjustment. Yeah. But when you are preparing your income and expenditure account, you make adjustments on accrual and prepayment. You make capital, uh, capital receipt and capital expenditure, we are not going to still include them. But revenue receipt and revenue expenditures, you have to include them because they are, they are part of what you use in running the business. Yes. Non-monetary items such as depreciation are included because they are expenses. Yes. Assets and liabilities at the beginning and the end of the financial year are not included. I think that yes. is clear. Is it clear, please? Yes. Now we have a question. You said the Apollo Athletic Club was formed some years ago to provide various sporting facilities for its members. The club also has a shop where members can purchase sportswear. The following receipt and payment account was prepared for the year and then 31st July 28th. So they have the receipt and payment account already. All right. So what do we need to do? Now they said we have additional information. So we have on July 31st, 28th, insurance prepaid amount to $16, which is of athletic push, outstanding amount for the base. It's not there. Really? So these are advantages. So um, wages for athletic uh, coach is outstanding 400. That's accrual, right? Yes. 50 members still owe their annual subscription of $20 each of the coins. Financial year, that's still accrual too. Eight members have paid their annual subscription fee for each of the following financial year. We paid. Sport equipment is to be depreciated at by 1715 1, So the two, the profit of the clubs for the year ended 31st, was 600 calculated in the shop income statement. Now we are told to prepare the income and expenditure account for the year. So to prepare the income and expenditure account, we first have to do deal with the income. As soon as we deal with the income first, then we deal with the expenditure. So for the income, we have subscription. For the subscriptions, things are said about the subscription. They said the total subscription is 5,860. And we have additional information on subscription. They said 50 members still owe their annual subscription of $20 each, which has not been paid. 15 has not been paid, right? So 15 times 20, that's $300. So you had it. Are you with me, please? Yes. They said 15 members still owe their annual subscription. That means they are still expecting 15 multiplied by 20 to be part of the subscription in income. So you add it to your subscription. That is clear, right? Yes. Eight members have paid their annual subscription of $20 each of the following financial year. Mm -hmm. So eight multiplied by 20, that's 160, you deduct it. So 5,860 plus 300, which is what? Accrual mm -hmm. minus prepayment, 160. I think that is clear. That is 6,000. Yes. Then we have the profit on shop, which is 600. Now there's also an income, which is entrance fees, which is 1,100. 
then there's cost of price. You have to take away cost of price. There's, there's, a, there's a competition. The competition, uh, the competition accumulated to 1,100. But from the competition, you have to pay for the price that the winner will take. So the winner, the, the cost of prices are 6,660. So that means you have to take it away from the competition. So that's 440. Then you add it all together. That's your income. I think that is scary. Yes. Now go to the expenditures. The wages is, is 2,700. But we are owing the athletic coach 400. You have to add it up to it. Yes or no? Yes. The rates and insurances, here they said rates. Rate and insurance is 328. Is there, right? Yes. Uh, there's an additional information. They said insurance prepaid amounts to 16. So it's prepaid. So if it is prepaid, what do you do? You less it. If it is accrued, you add. You add. Thank you. So there's prepaid of insurance, which is 16. So you less it from 328. So you have 312. Please don't forget the payment and accrued. Yes. When it is accrued, you are still it's still being owed. So that means you you still expecting money. When it is prepayment, you have you have collected it. You have to take it away for that financial year. Accrued added, we made prepayment, did not pay. General expenses you added. The position on the prepayment was given as 1,715. Then you add it all together. The difference between them, between expenditure and income, will give you either surplus or deficit. But here we have surplus. Is it clear? Yes. Yeah. That's not the problem. It's profit, surplus. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Is it clear? Yes. So go to preparation of a statement of financial position of a club or society. This is where we talk about the assets, the liabilities. This is where we talk about depreciation. Okay. Uh, yeah? There's no capital. Yes. Capital. Because we have yeah. accumulated fund. We're going to have accumulated fund. Accumulated fund, yeah. Yeah. So let's see. Preparation of a, statement of, a, of a statement of financial position of a club or society. The principles applied when preparing the statement of financial position of a club or society are similar to those applied in the preparation of statement of financial position. So it's just the same way we are preparing your statement of financial position. So the main difference is that there is no capital in the statement of financial position of a club or society, whereas a business is usually financed by an investment of capital from the owner. Members of a club or society do not invest money in the same way as the proprietor of a business. Because of this, the members are not entitled to make any drawings if a club or society makes a surplus. This means that these surpluses will accumulate within the organization to form capital fund known as accumulated fund, like I told you. Do you see it now? Mm. Do you see it here? It's accumulated fund, not capital. We don't split it like capital. Yeah, the profits made by the club. Is it community? Yes. Yeah, will still be part of the club. Member, members cannot take money from them because it is not contributed by them. Is it the money that is invested? Is it like- the They don't invest. They subscribe. They subscribe. So they are not investors. They subscribe to use the facility. So they don't have access to whatever happens to the business. So, so that's club. Yeah. It's not their business. So whatever profit that is generated, is regarded as accumulated fund, fund. So that is what replaces capital in the statement of financial position. Yes. That is clear. So we have a question. They said, the Apollo, club, the Apollo Athletic Club was formed some years ago to provide various sporting facilities for its members. The club also has a shop where members can purchase sportswear. On 1st of August 27, the following balances appeared in the books of the club. Premises at cost. Equipment at cost, provision for deposition of equipment, balance at bank, shop inventory, accumulated form. That's capital. Mm -hmm. The income and expenditure account for the year showed the surplus. During the year ended, 31st July 28th, new equipment costing this was purchased. The deposition of the equipment for the year amounted to that amount. So we're going to list. Yes. yes. Then we have our balance at bank, shop inventory, insurance prepaid, wages, subscription owing, subscription paid in advance. We're told to prepare a statement of financial position. Before we prepare our statement of, when we have to prepare our statement of financial position, so we have to go to the asset side of it. The yes. first thing is the non point asset. So what are the non point assets we have? We have premises and expense, uh, equipment. So the premises does not depreciate. So it's 20,000, yes. that is done. 
Then for equipment, equipment was 17,150. Then there's depreciation of equipment. So the depreciation of equipment, right? So we're gonna add depreciation. No, at the, the equipment at cost. We're gonna add the, the new equipment. Yes, you have it because yes, then you take depreciation away. They take the depreciation away and then add it to the equipment at cost. Yes, I think that's clear. So two thousand nine hundred and seventy uh fifty minus one thousand four seven hundred and fifty will give you the amount that you will add at the equipment. I think that is clear. Then we go to the to the current assets. We're talking about the inventory in the shop, the subscription accrued, other receivables and bank. So uh, shop inventory is valued as 310. Then we have our subscription accrued. What? Subscription accrued. Yes. Members that are owing. That's in, uh... Members that are owing, they are owing. Members are owing. Yes. So shop owing by, by members, 300. Yes, yes, I know. What? I mean, uh, we did non-current. It's premises and equipment. Non-current, we're done. We're talking yeah. about current now. No, current. Current, current are shop inventory. Three yeah, ten. Shop inventory, yeah. only by members. That's accrued. Oh, yeah. Yes, 300. Yes, yes. Then other receivables. Yeah, the receivables, okay. We have it there. Insurance prepaid. It's one of them. No. Yeah, you paid insurance prepaid. Is a current one. Uh, yeah. yeah. Are you confused? So uh, current. Do you act. understand insurance we paid here? Yes, insurance we paid means you have paid insurance before now. Yes. So that means you have a business, you have a service that has not been rendered. Yes, yes. Sir. It's an asset for you, current asset. It's still part of your trade receivable. It's your part of it's part of your As insurance prepaid, not yeah. other receivable. Other receivable will be success subscription. Insurance prepaid point. is other receivables. So you so you're adding other receivable wait subscription owing by members. That is other accrued. Other receivable. Accrued. Subscription accrued. Yes. And the insurance or trade prepaid. receivables. Or trade receivables. But we don't call it trade receivable because there is no trade. It is subscription accrued. Oh yeah. Subscription if you accrued. And then the insurance is insurance prepaid. Prepaid. Which is all the receivables. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So you don't add them. You had. You add, yeah, yeah, at the end, yeah. So then we have our bank balance, which is 1932. You had them together. That's your total assets. So your total assets, you had both your total your current assets and non-coin assets together. So what about the 190? 1932, the bank balance. The there, bank are two, balance. there are two. Yeah, you had it. It's an asset. It's current asset. There are two. No one. There, the first one in the August first, and in July. Balance at bank two thousand. Two hundred, and then there is down one thousand nine hundred fifty-two. Balance at bank. So the first one goes to your income statement. This is for not for the. This is uh this is your accumulated this is your statement of financial position. Your balance at bank is part of your income and expenditure accounts. Yes, yes, I know. So what do you want to use it for? Which one are we going to use in the statement of financial position? Is it the next, the second, or the first? The second one. Oh yeah. Oh, because it's it's in the end of the year. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. You have his balance at bank. That's Okay. So the first balance you have, the first one you have goes to your income statement. We don't need that. Mm -hmm. There's a balance at bank is 2,200. That's at the beginning, but you check the, you check at the, the, at the end of the year, which is balance at bank at the end of the year, which is 1932. Mm -hmm. So you add them together. Then your opening balance, the value you have, they said it's 30,960. 30, then you have your surplus, which is the same as profit. Right. Those are part of the information we have. Yes, yes. So, do you see it or not? Mm -hmm. You add it with your surplus. Then we have other payables. Of other payables, yeah. The we have other payables, right? 160. We have wages of athletic coach outstanding. Wages of athletic. Yes. 
which is about 30 coach, is an order pay, is order payables. So I'm sure paid in advance by members. Those are the two. Do you see it or not, please? Yes, for hundred and twenty. We are owing our coach. Mm -hmm. It's payable. Some of our subscribers have paid before the seven. It is payable to yes, yes, sir. as you have paid insurance, which becomes receivable for you. Yes, uh, payable for us and yeah, receivable for them. Yeah, no, it's the opposite. Yeah, so you add the total liabilities together, mm -hmm. then it has to balance. Is it clear? Yes. So we're going to comparisons of accounting terms used by businesses and those used by a club or society. We don't call them, it is business and club society. So it's the difference. They are different here. Yeah, they're doing the difference between them. Yes. So we have receipt and payment account. There's no other difference. In business, we have we use cash book. Yes, cash book, yeah. For profit and loss account section of the income system, we have income and expenditure. For profit for the year, we have surplus. Yes. For loss of the year, we have deficit. Capital, Capital is the same as accumulated funds. So we go to subscriptions. Are you there? Yes. Subscriptions. The receipt and payments account shows the amount of subscription received during the financial year. But the income and expenditure account shows the amount of subscription related to the financial year. The receipt and payments talk is related to the subscription received. But when it comes to income and expenditure, it talks about subscription that relates to that financial year. We've received subscription, we've received yes. fees from new members, from members. Yes. That is our Receipt and payment. But how we run that club within the year goes to your income and expenditure account. I think that is clear. Mm -hmm. So this means that the amount received must be adjusted for any subscription owed by members and any subscription paid in advance by members. So you have to make adjustments when you are preparing your income and expenditure because they are accrued and they are prepaid. When they are accrued, you are there. When they are prepared, you take them away. Yes. Clear, right? Yes. So that was the point they make there. All right, so that's all about that. Let's just go to the question there. Yes. They said the Apollo Athletic Club was formed some years ago to provide various, various sporting facilities for its members. On 1st of August 27, there, was, there were no subscription owing by members and no members are paid their subscription in advance. During the year ended 31st July 28, the club received subscription totaling 5860 for members. This includes subscription of $20 each from eight members for the following financial year. That's repayment, which is 160 mm. On the 31st July 28, subscription of $20 each for the current financial year was still outstanding. That is accrued. That's 300 During the year ended, the club received subscription for members totaling 6020 6, there are subscription outstanding of 120. Prepare the subscription account in the books of Apollo Athletic Club. So we have different transactions here that we have to interpret. The balance carried down for the months. Can we start this? Yes. So the balance, they said, the first thing is that the substitution for um each for following financial year, which is uh, that's from eight customers, from eight members, sorry, which is which is equivalent to 160. Yes. Eight members are OE as of July 31st. That was 160. Then your income and expenditure accounts. We have our income and expenditure account, which is talking about what do we have there? We have 5,860. Which is 5,860, yes. Yes. What else do we have? We have our we have our five thousand, we have five thousand eight sixty, which is that which is the total subscription for the year, which is five thousand eight sixty. But it's not income. No, is the club receive subscription totally five thousand eight sixty? Yes, bank is clear. Yes. Okay. So what else do we have there? Our income and expenditure. Where's our income then? The total of our income, let's calculate it. We have 560. We have um, 15 members here, which is 300. Yes. We have 15 members, which is 300. What else do we have then? 
have the description for the first time. The first time, the first time, the Yeah, I've talked about that. Yeah. Then we have, um, what else do we have? We have uh, 300. We have 300. This is 20 times 15. Which yeah, we have 300, which is uh, outstanding. So we added to our total subscription, 5,860 plus 300. So that gives us what, 6,160. And uh, eight of them are owing. Yes, you take it away. Eight, one, six, and seven, yeah. That will give us our income and expenditure. Do you get it or not? Yes. You know, we said for subscription, subscription receipt plus accrued minus prepaid. Subscription received plus accrued minus prepaid. Yeah. Subscription received is 5,860. Accrued is 300. Repaid is 160. Yeah. So these are the three that makes up our income statements. That's a problem. Yeah, so 5,860 5, plus 300 minus 160. That gives us our income and expenditure, which is 6,000. I think that is clear. Yes. Okay. Then, on August, what they said, now we have our balance. On the debit side, our balance brought down. On the debit side, we have accrued, which is 300. Right. Yeah, we have accrued 300. Yes, yes, yes. And we have prepaid 160. Yes. Okay. What else do we have? You add it with your income and expenditure account. That's give you 6,300. For the two years, yeah. So what else do we have there? Then the difference between the debit side and the credit side is... 120. 120. That means, yes. For the next year. That will be for the next year, yes. For, for the next month, yes, yes. And it will be for the next month. Yes, sir. Is it clear, please? Yes, sir. Now, calculate calculation of sales and purchases. As the accounts of a club or society are often incomplete, it is, of, it is often necessary to calculate credit purchases and sometimes credit sales if goods are sold on credit before the preparation of the income statement. The same principles apply when calculating these figures for a business which, which has not got a complete set of accounting records are followed. Now we have this. They said the Apollo Athletic Club has, has, has a shop where members can purchase sportswear. All the sales are made for cash and all purchases are made on credit terms. So all the sales they made, all their sales was cash sales. But all their purchases were credit. So that means they're going to have trade payables. You don't get it. Yes, because so not. Yeah, just come back here. They said Apollo Athletic Club has a shop where members can purchase sportswear. Yes. All sales are made for cash, and all purchases are made on credit. So all what they sold were cash sales, but they have trade tables because they purchase on credit from suppliers. Mm -hmm. So we know the Apollo Club is having trade tables alone. Mm -hmm. Clear. Yes. So trade papers for August 25, 155. Trade papers for August, uh, July 26, 215. Amount paid to credit suppliers during the year ended, 2009, 2018. So, so to prepare our total trade papers account, the total trade credit paid is 2,980. Mm -hmm. You add, you add your opening trade papers. You sorry, you, you let your opening trade papers, you add your closing trade papers. You add wait, you let your opening and close uh add your op uh closing. closing. You only you had closing, you less opening. Yes. Because opening is what your your balance brought down, right? And it stays on the credit side. Yes. So what you have now is the amount you have, which is bank. And the balance, which is 215. So the difference between them gives you your purchases. Mm -hmm. Do you get it or not? I'll explain again. Explain again. Yeah, sure. We have two trade payables. We have opening trade payables, yeah. which is our balance brought down, which is 155. We have closing trade payables. Our closing trade payables will be added up with our credit, our our trade, our payables, our credit suppliers. Yes. So that is the total we have to pay. Which is what? 3195 But how are we going to know the value of our purchases? We get to know the value of our purchases by taking away the total from the balance brought down, which we opened with. So what we are opening with 
is what we closed with. Mm -hmm. So these are what we just purchased now in terms of value. So 3,195 minus 155 gives us our purchases. Nothing complete. And it's incomplete. Yeah, it's incomplete. Yeah. It's incomplete. So now we have to complete it by finding the purchases. Yes. Is it clear? Yes. Now we go to calculation of accumulated fund. When we talk about accumulated fund, which is the same as capital, right? Yes. It is asset plus accumulated fund. Asset equals to accumulated fund plus liability. So here we have premises at cost, equipment, position for depreciation, balance at bank, shop inventory, trade payables. So we are told to calculate the accumulated fund. So what do we calculate to get the assets, which are premises, uh, equipment? Um, is an asset. Bank. Yeah, this is a part of yes. And shop inventory is one. No, but you know when you are calculating your equipment, we have depreciation for equipment. Oh, yeah. So this is how you calculate it: twenty thousand plus fourteen thousand two hundred minus four thousand two sixty mm -hmm. plus one thousand seven hundred plus two eighty five. Yes. Do you get that? Yes, yes, yes. So, and whatever you get, you minus uh, liability. Yes. That's a related form. Is it clear? Yes. Any question about it? So we have an exam style question. I think, no, they are long questions. So that's all about clubs and clubs and societies accounts. Mm -hmm.